Alrighty, guys, Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden of the Garage here in beautiful Alabama. We're going to try this once again, alright? Uh, because my, I don't know what the hell happened there, but the camera just decided to act like a complete idiot. I don't know. But anyway, Mr. Gilbert, and dare I pronounce this correctly, I hope, Adagoke. Gilbert, Adagoke. Okay. Gilbert went ahead and he purchased a console off the website from us and. Here it is. Okay, it's a fat Jasper, 250 gig drive up on the line of service, along with a 10 day trial, the purge for GTA 5. We're going to go ahead, we're going to boot this thing. Alright. This is RGH 1.2, got a cool run of Rev C in it. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and let me sync up the controller here. Alright, system booted, life is good. Alright, and here we are. Okay, we're booting up into FSC Dash, we're going to get some notifications from the server, letting us know it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense. Alright, now I'm going to take you through a run with this thing, okay? So, hang loose, and here we go. Here we are. Alright, right FSD, welcome to Alliance. We're going to get one more from the purge, letting us know that it's off on the server. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here, I'm going to show you exactly what you have on this system, okay? And also how to manipulate it, alright? So, under emulators. Genesis Plus 360, Genesis 360 from May. Xbox Classic Games, we've got some classic games on there for you. Our homebrew section with the tools inside where you can really screw this thing up real bad. And then of course the Xbox Live Arcade, and we mind boggling the amount of arcade games as you can see. And then of course we have our regular Xbox 360 games, okay? And through that we start off with Advanced Warfare. And we can work all the way, all the way through all the favorite titles that everybody knows and loves and loves to play, okay? And here we are back at Advanced Warfare, okay? Now to get to the little dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash it one more time. Take you to the original dash where you are again. Hello again, Gilbert. I go. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. We have 29 reserve days left. You will have 30 when it leaves here, okay? Don't worry about that now. So, got it? Good. Okay? Bypass the sign in. You will see that it is up online and live. Our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD. Over in our fifth tab, we have our BO2 cheats, ghost cheats, and my Warfare 3 cheats. To, to disable them, just hit A. Then to enable them, hit A. They come enabled right when you start up the console, okay? So, just so you know, alright? Then, to get back to everything, dash is my shade button on Xbox Home. That will take you back, alright? Now, what's going to happen here is I'm going to show you a couple little ditties on this thing that you, that you should know about. You have multiple dashboards on this thing, alright? I loaded them all, so that way then you got them, alright? And I'll just kind of demonstrate them to you here. We'll go to dash launch, hit dash launch now, alright? We have this thing called Pass, okay? Now, under Pass, you will see we have Default, just Dial Dash, that's what it boots up into. If you hold that button B when it's booting, it will boot into FX Menu. If you hold down button X, it will boot into XEX Menu. Hold down button Y, it will boot into Stock Dashboard. If you hold down the left bumper, it will boot into Aurora, okay? So, you gotta hold those buttons down while it's booting when you get the Xbox 360 logo, okay? And then it will run to those dashboards, alright? Now, if you want to change the default, it's really easy. Just go to default, hit A, hit A again, back out to the root folder, go to Aurora, let's say you like Aurora, so we'll click Aurora, okay, and now that's your default boot up. So now we'll, we'll, we will go ahead and we'll save it. We will hit RD, we'll bring it down to HDD, we'll hit X to save it, B to back out, and now we'll load Aurora. All your titles will load through Aurora now, okay? So here we go, there's Aurora, and life is good. And here we are, welcome to Aurora. Now, let me just fix this, hang on here. Because I have every one I do for some reason, okay? So, I want to show it. There we go, okay? Everything should be fine now. Alright. Now, alright, as you can see, we're in the Xbox 360 folder. Alright, hit RB. That'll bring up your context menu. Xbox Live Arcade, alright? RB once again. Use the D-pad to move over. Okay, there's, there's all your uh, emulators. Classic games. Homebrew section, indie games, back to show all, that shows everything that's on the hard drive, okay? So, there you are, right? Now, okay, now, with this thing also, once you hit the back button, there's your file manager, scripts, restart, reboot, shut down, you get back out of that, hit the start button, okay, assets, profile, content, and all your content folders right there, modules, you know, dash launch, uh, FTP, Nova, they're all active. Okay, language, security, and the people that brought it to you. Alright? Now, 
We're going to set this back over to FSD dash for you because it's a little bit simpler. All right, so you can get your feet wet or whatever. Or if you're if you're a seasoned modder, you know you choose whatever you want to choose. Okay. Some people like XCX Menu 1.2. Some people like FS Menu. Some people like FSD dash. Some people like Aurora. You know, I mean, so it's all up to you. You can change whatever you want on it. It's your RGH. Okay. So anyway, we'll go back to the homebrew section right here. Go to dash launch. I'll show you how to change this back. All right, we'll go to paths. Okay, we'll choose the fault. We'll hit A. We'll back out to the double dot folder. We'll go down to freestyle, which is FSD dash. We will hit default XCX. Hit A. Hit RB. Bring it down to HD. Hit X to save it. Beat it back out. And now we'll run. Now we'll go ahead and what it will do is it will run um, FSD. Okay, we'll start back up in FSD. Now, all right. What we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to get to stay online for the first time, okay? Now, this is very important. Please pay attention to this, all right? Because if you do not, you will not get online. You will be ripping your hair out, okay? And I don't want to see that happen. So, here's what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to show you how to get to stay online for the first time, okay? Look, this is what you do, all right? Before you plug it in or anything like that, before you power it on or anything, plug your Ethernet connection in, plug your HDMI in, plug your power cord in, all right? What I want you to do, I want you to remove the hard drive from the unit. We'll set that up right there. Then what I want you to do, I want you to power on the system. Okay? When the system boots, you're going to come to the original dashboard. All right? It's going to bring you to the Xbox Blackboard screen. Okay? System booted. Here we go. All right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our network connection on this thing. Okay? I'm going to make sure that it's set up right and everything is cool. Okay? So, we're going to get to the Blackboard screen. Here we go. We're going to go up, over, go to settings, go to system. All right? We've got a network settings. You will see Wired is check marked off, okay? Now, if you have a wireless adapter, you can put, put that on there and do it the same way. It doesn't matter, okay? So, anyway, we'll go to Wired Network, okay? We're going to hit A, all right? We're going to test the Xbox Live connection, all right? Now, we should get a check mark. Uh, we, we should get a green green dots for the network and everything, which is cool. And then we should get um, we should get a check mark and two red X's, as you can see, all right? Sometimes it'll check mark off. The network and the internet, but it won't check mark at Xbox Live. It's fine. It doesn't matter what these two do. Don't care. The only one I care about is this connected to your network. Because you can connect to the network, you can connect to the internet, and you can connect to Xbox Live, which is cool. All right? So we're all set up. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to power the system off. All right? Then what we're going to do is after the system powers off, it's got background downloads on. I know. There we go. Okay, so we're powered off. All right? I want you to take the hard drive and I should plug it back in. Okay, see it's in just like that. What I want you to do then, I want you to pull the power cord on the unit. Leave the power cord out for five minutes. If you do not leave it out for five minutes, the dang thing will wind up giving you a headache. It will not connect to live. It will act like it's connected. It will not connect. It will wind up with DNS errors all over the place. And you will sit there ripping your hair out and asking me, what kind of piece of crap did you sell me? Okay, all right, so leave this out five minutes, okay? That's it. That's the bare minimum, five minutes, okay? Do not just plug it in. So, we leave that out five minutes. Now, after five minutes, we plug it back in. The only reason why I can plug it back in and power it back on is because the DNS and the SMC and everything else is all matched to my DNS, so then that way then it'll work, okay? So, I don't have a problem. But you, you have to leave it out for five minutes, okay? After that, after five minutes is up, and what I want you to do, I want you to power the system on, okay? Once the system boots, which you just did, going to happen is you're going to see the logo pop up, and there's a telltale sign here. See the stuff flashing around? Once it stops flashing, all right, that means it locked the server, which you just did. Now, it's going to run FSD. You're going to hear the fan speed kick up, and you see your plugins come across the screen, okay? Be money! Joe Ward, what's happening? Good to see you guys. All right, so, here we are. Welcome to Alliance. We're going to get one more, which is going to be the purge, and then what I want you to do is I want you to scoot on over here. I want you to go to the homebrew section. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go to Xbox 360 dashboard. Mash the A button, mash it again. Okay? Now, it's going to load. Okay, there you are. Here's your square. Hello, Gilbert. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. Blah, blah, blah. Which means that you're on the server. Then what I want you to do, I want you to download your existing Xbox Live profile. If you do not have one, go to xboxlive.com slash live. And then what I want you to do is I want you to use Outlook Express for the, um, well, not Outlook Express. Okay? Outlook for the email. Okay? Make your make your profile and everything else. Then go ahead and download it, okay? When you download it, it's going to go ahead and what it's going to do is to sign in. 
you, it's going to sign into the screen. You're going to see this little screen circle of death. And then what's going to happen is there's your profile. You're logged in. And the broad scoots over to the right. And she does whatever she does. In the right, selling drugs, her ass, or whatever. I don't know. So anyway, there you go. Then you're signed in, okay? Now, in the event that it gives you a problem downloading your profile. Let's say it gets stuck halfway in the middle or whatever. Which does happen from time to time. What I want you to do is I want you to go over to settings. Go to home. Go to settings. Go to system. Okay? Then what I want you to do is I want you to go to storage, all right? Then I want you to go to the hard drive. I want you to go to profiles, all right? Now, the offending profile will be here. I want you to go ahead. I want you to select it, click on it, delete it, okay? By hitting A. Once you delete it, okay, what will happen is it will back out, all right? Then what I want you to do is I want you to back all the way out to the hard drive. I want you to leave the hard drive highlighted. What I want you to do, I want you to hit Y. Then what I want you to do, I want you to hit clear system cache, and I want you to not only do it once, but... We're going to go ahead and we're going to do it twice. Because Microsoft has a way of leaving things behind, okay? So there we are, all right? And we're good. Then, what you do is you go back over to download your profile, which is right here. Sign in and sign out. Okay, all that stuff right here. Okay? And then you sign in, you download your profile, and it should be fine. Once you do that, hit the guide button. Go back to Xbox Home. There you are. Then, one other step you got to do before you start playing, all right? I hate this. Yes, it loads different skins with different profiles, okay? So, hey, what we'll do is we'll change that, okay? Because it's just distracting as all hell. I don't want to hear about this guy smoking weed or whatever, okay? And then we'll, we'll reboot, okay? And that will bring us to the regular, normal, you know, dream thing, okay? So now it'll reboot. There we are. We're good, okay? Now, one other thing you got to do here before you start playing, okay? You're going to go over to the homebrew section. Then you're going to go over and you're going to go to XM. You're going to go to XM 360. Hit it. Hit it again. All right. It's going to black screen for a minute or two. It's going to bring up your DLC and it's going to bring up your XBLA. You've got to unlock the stuff to your existing profile. If you do not, some DLC content will not be available to you. Okay. So what it's doing right now is scanning the whole hard drive. Then it's going to throw a menu up here. Okay. Once we get the menu up here, then I'm going to show you how to unlock this stuff. Okay. So, you know, here we are, XBLA, go over to the left, hit unlock the XBLA, hit A, all right, everything's unlocked this profile already, all right, now, go to show DLC, hit A, all right, then, go over, unlock DLC, boom, hit it, and then it's going to unlock all the DLC content, there you go, okay, then, bring it down to exit the dash, hit A, now you can go ahead and you play games, okay, everything is good, now, it's going to bring back up FSD Dash, okay? Now, I've done some, I've done some shows with uh, GTA and the Purge plugin. I did some with the uh, Merch Club. I did some with uh, Ghosts and our Post. did some with BO2, okay? Now, I'm going to show you a little bit about BO2, okay? Now, look, we're signed in. Life is good. Go to Xbox 360 games. All right, we'll bring this over to BO2. Yep, there we go. We'll hit it. We'll hit it. There's no special way to load it. It works just fine. You can load it right through here without having to worry about the full multiplayer and all that other crap and everything else, okay? Black Ops 2 is bypassed. My controller is dying. Okay. Now, okay. So here we are. Alright, and now we're going to come up. Yep, we know. We'll tell you, yeah, your father. Yeah, he's dead. We know, okay? Alright, so we're going to hit start. Yep. Now, let me set this up with the screen. I think I'm going to have to set this up with the screen. I'm not sure. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we know. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay. Yep. Bring this out. Good. Bring this up. Good. Okay. Yes, we want to grab the content. Okay. We'll go to multiplayer. All right. And now, what happens is going to say Black Ops 2. Cheats and cheats are loaded. Okay. Everything is bypassed. Alright, we're going to do a we're going to do a local game because it's not an online profile. Alright, we'll set up the game. My controller's going nuts. Okay, now, we're going to uh, change the map, DLC, new town, change game mode, standard. Yep, there goes my controller once again. Dying. Standard, free for all. Alright, back out of that. Set up the box, we got nine, okay? And then we're gonna be pretty much good to go. Alright, now I'll tell you what I am gonna do. Alright, 
before I wind up ripping my hair out with this control rack, I'm like a complete utter, utter idiot, which I don't want it to do, I'm going to change the battery on this thing, and that way then I'm not running around here trying to do something that ain't going to work, okay? Just hang on here, put this stuff in here. Sorry about that, Gilbert. As you can tell, I've been pretty busy today. Alright. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Now, okay. So anyway, alright. All posts, D-pad left, X to select, Q to back out. Jiggy, hold in, left trigger, push down, right thumbstick. Okay. For Sentinel, hold in, left trigger, push down, right thumbstick. Okay. Really easy. Start the match. Here we go. Gilbert, did I not say that you were up on a lion flag? Yes, that's a stealth server. Now, okay, here we go. Now watch, all right. Free for all. Done, okay, and we're going to use Jiggy right now, left trigger, right thumbstick, main mods, we'll do quick mods, and that way we take a kill. All right, we'll hit X to back out, X to back out, you pad left, X to select. Don't stop until so they're all this on here. Okay, main box. We'll do on screen, okay? ESP menu, yep, we're gonna do that. Pyramid, okay? Snap line, alright, and we're out of there. Hit the pad left, we're out over there. I'm gonna shoot him right in the freaking head, everything's cool. Okay? And it turns low, we're doing it again. See the Now we can fly, of course, okay? Now we can get a bird's eye view. Yeah, let's fly a little more, what the hell. Hey, buddy! How you doing? Nice to see you. Okay? Now, if you really want to be a dick, hold in left finger, put down my thumb, take go to, uh, go to, uh, bullet. Really? Torn. How do you like that, huh? Did that hurt? I'm so glad it did. Yeah. You look all screwed up now. You do, huh? Really? Try to get it. Okay, here. I'll screw you all up. Okay, here. Let me go up here. Here we go. Fly through the air with the hands of the knees. Get out of the trapeze. Do the breeze and the trees. And everything else. Alright? Now, yeah. you really want to be a real penis? Here, hit A. Here, here's a nuclear bomb. You like that, huh? Did you like that? Good. Wow. Here. We'll take uh, explosive bullets and grenades, too. How's that? Yeah, we're we'll really making sure what we're doing. Now, if you really want to be a real dick, grab all your aimbot, go to unfair aimbot, and now you shoot the school. So wait for me, I mean. Okay? There you go. Alright? That could be okay. Okay? Now, and that's using all the bullets and everything else. Okay? Now, Gilbert, as I said, you have 30 days, okay, on the server. Alright, and uh, you can get more time from the Rain Meadows Rose, okay? Or you can hit me up, one or the other, okay? Now, as you can see, everything works good, good, we're good, so we're out of here, okay? Now, what I'm going to do here, okay? Yes. Now, I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do is, uh, I want to make sure that Sentinel works on this for you, okay? Because a lot of people like zombies too, okay? So I'm just going to boot back up in half this day, here we go. Alright, now watch. Okay. Now, We'll go over to games, okay, and we'll do this once again. Well, let's just show zombies off a little bit, all right? Where the heck is it now? There it is. Okay, yep, there we go. Okay, so we'll hit that, we'll hit it again. Okay, we're going to reload this, and what we'll do is we'll do zombies, okay? Make life real easy. All right, yeah, 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 I'm going put the freaking Dolby crap. I don't want to see the Dolby crap. I'm done with the Dolby crap, please. Oh, my God. All right, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. Start. Alright. Now. Okay, here we go. Alright, good. We're good. Okay. Now, we'll do zombies, okay? Now, it's just a uh, Black Ops Sheets loaded, which should be good. Yep. Good. Bypass, that was good. We have all posts in here as well as Sentinel menu, okay? So, anyway, alright, we'll do a local game. Yeah, here comes the big, bad, burnt out hulk of a planet. Okay, today, take that, we'll be transient, original, start match, okay. Now, left trigger, right, push in, right thumbstick, remember that, alright? Dun dun, you got it, oh, 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 oh,
No clip, okay? And then what we'll do is back out of that. Let's see here now. Okay? By hitting left trigger and right thumbstick. Weapons menu, okay? Yeah! We'll use that right there. Yeah, that works, okay? And then we'll back out of that. We'll back out of that, okay? I am zombie zombie. Everybody's zombie, okay? Cool here, okay? How do you like that, huh? Okay? Look, no clip, no trigger, no nothing. Just running through with an AK 47 like a baby. It all works real good. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Alright, let's see here now. Now we can go to the fun menu here. Okay, get back, lost your gun, ray gun, yeah. 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 You know, spawn, got a roof, farm, wherever you want to go, okay? It's all cool, alright? If you can sit, okay? Yeah. Right, we'll do that, get out of the that. D pad left, there you go, main menu, okay? Everything is selected from the other one, okay? There we go. D menu, yep, yeah. everything's all good, okay? So, you know, like I said, you can do anything you want, alright? It all works. Now, okay. Okay. Now, okay. So anyway, here we are. We're all good. Alright? Now, here's the deal here, okay? And um Gilbert, I'll message you, okay? Don't worry, alright? But anyway, there you are. Okay, life is good. Now Okay, as far as, um, let's see here. And for GTA 5, D-pad left and X, it comes up right on the screen. It's unmistakable. Okay, <laughs> alright, so, you know, just choose your poison and you're good to go. Now, emulators, okay, emulators, they all play, every single one of them. Alright, we'll do Super SNES here, okay. Alright, there you are. You go to games. And as you can see, there's a bunch of games on here. I mean, a load of games on here, okay, as you can see. Alright. We'll back out of that. Take a chance. Okay. And that will bring us back again to have a dash. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you also. It's the same thing for MAME. It's the same thing for Sega Genesis. Okay. It's all the same. All right. You select it and go. All right. Now, as far as classic games are concerned, okay. Let's go into the old original classic games. All right. Now. With the server on, and what I mean by that is with this guide right here, with that server on, guess what? This is not going to work, alright? What's going to happen is you're going to select it, select it, and you get a big black screen, it's just going to be like, screw you, pal, you're done. Because this thing is sitting here going, I'm confused. So how do we fix that? Well, it's very, very easy. You run the thing in bypass mode, okay? Bypass mode is simply this, alright? Watch. Power to console off, okay? Power back on. Hit the eject button, you're bypassing all the plugins with dash ones. Okay, you're bypassing everything with dash ones. You do that anyway when you want to change plugins and all that kind of good stuff. If you want to change the server or whatever. Okay? Now, what's going to happen is it's going to boot, which you just did, of course. Now, you leave the tray hanging out until you come to FSD dash or whatever dashboard you set up on this thing. It's up to you. Okay? Now, as you can see, there we are. All right. Now, we reach the dream team, we can close the tray, life is good. We'll sync the controller. Okay, what well, we'll do. We'll run on over to Xbox Classic Games, and now you will see that everything runs and runs very, very well. Okay, there you are, there's your Xbox logo, now it's going to come up, and you're going to see all this crap, and everything else, and the eyeball, and all that crap. Yeah, 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 we know, we know, we know. Okay, here's the eyeball painting everything, okay, there we are. So start turning off, there you are. Alright, hit A. And there's the game. Okay? And there we go. Okay, everything works, no problems. Okay? When you're done with the game, hit the guide button. Xbox home. Yes. You're done. So, Gilbert. Listen, brother.
Here's the other. Uh, B money. Okay. Number one, like I said, I showed you the ones that come with the uh, with, with the menus and everything else. If you want to, I would suggest you talk to Jort on uh, Twitter or Jort Jort on uh, Discord. Guys, are real cool. All right, and uh, he has he has a menu that's been written a long time ago. It's called Matrix. It does all of them. Okay, so you know this is just to get your feet wet, get you started up, and get you going. Okay, so you know, I mean, there you go. That's there, there's your answer right there. So. You know, I mean, I would suggest if you want to get really heavily into COD, you know, MW1, MW2, all this crap and everything else, get Matrix Menu, buy it from Jort. He's on Twitter. You can't mistake him. The guy's a really cool guy. All right? No problems. I'll give you the link to his profile also on Discord. All right? So that way, then, if you want to buy if you want to buy a lifetime, I think he sells it for $55, and it does all the games, okay? So, you know, there you go. All right? And it doesn't interfere with any cheats or anything like that. It all works perfectly in unison with my stuff too so there you go all right so listen gilbert thank you so much for your business i greatly appreciate it and uh, we're going to be shipping it off uh tomorrow i mean we're going to ship it off today and then we're going to go ahead and um we'll get you your i think lorraine already did your tracking number all right so anyway it's going off today so we'll get it all taken care of thank you so much you all have a good one i'll holler at you later guys take care of yourselves and be safe